ask you to uh, welcome Susan Templeman, the Labor candidate for Macquarie. And that's a question that I've been answering for people for the last three and a half years, in fact. Having lost the last federal election, it was really clear to me that there was unfinished business in this electorate and that it was important to get out and talk to people. It's a massive electorate, all of the Blue Mountains and all of the Hawkesbury. So there's a, a wide geographic area to cover. And a lot of people are looking for a lot of different things. And it's hard to say that any one candidate would in fact embody everything. But for me, being a Labor candidate is the best chance that our community has to become a fairer community. And that's what drives me. I joined the Labor Party in my 30s, uh, that, about 15 years ago. And, you know, I grew up with the Fraser Whitlam years through my teens. In my 20s, I was lucky enough to be a journalist in the Canberra Press Gallery during the Hawke Keating years. And then I had children in the 90s, late 90s, in the Howard years. And that was the point where I recognised that it was really essential for ordinary mums and dads to, who were busy with their everyday lives to actually get involved politically if they wanted to see a change. It's really easy to sit around the dinner party table and solve the problems of the world. I've stood on a few doorsteps with people over the last few months and a lot of people feel they've got the answers and no doubt between us we do, but pulling that together, the only place to really bring about change is to be in Canberra being able to legislate for things. And that's what Labor does. We get in there and we make progress on issues that matter to every person. For me, the Howard years were a sad time. It was a time where Australia became very inward looking. When I travelled overseas with my kids with the view that they needed to see what the whole world was like, not just Winmalee, which has its own charm, but there's a big wide world out there. You know, when we travelled, it was really interesting to look back at Australia and to see how inward looking we had become. And I was ashamed of that. So it was simply a question of getting involved. I had no intention of being a candidate. And in fact, as a young journalist in the Canberra Press Gallery, if anyone had said to me, you're going to want to be down there, not up in the Press Gallery, but down there on the floor with the politicians, I probably would have laughed at them. And being a journalist, I might have said a few choice words about that. Because it isn't a job that you necessarily choose to give up a comfortable business life or family life for. So moving into a, being a candidate was a, a big decision for me, but also for the family. But what I think I can bring to it is life experience of raising kids, of facing mental illness issues in families, of having ageing grandparents and watching my parents go through that process. All the things that we go through. And Parliament needs a diversity and it needs the voice of small business in there as well. So they're the things I think I can bring. But more importantly, what does Labor bring? You know, we have a whole philosophy that is about, rests on the fact that it shouldn't matter what postcode a child is born into. The postcode should not determine their health outcomes. It shouldn't determine their education outcomes. And sadly, we still have a situation today where that happens in Australia. This is Australia, which is one of the most civilised and one of the richest countries in the world, yet we still have the haves and the have-nots. So the reason Labor can make a difference and why people should vote for me as the Labor candidate are that the number one thing we'll do is build schools of the future. You know, you have an opposition who thinks there's nothing wrong with the current system, who are dragged kicking and screaming to provide a little bit more funding. You've got a state Liberal government that quite happily cut $1.7 billion from funding in education. But now we have a future that looks so much healthier for education, and we'll be talking more about that as the debate continues. Education for me is one of the fundamental things that changes and transforms the lives of families, particularly kids who are born into families who don't already have everything. We're also looking at building and in the process of building world-class infrastructure. That's the National Broadband Network. Mountains people have already embraced it long before it's even got here. And it's tremendous that the, from Lapton to, Lapston to Linden is on the rollout plan between now and July 2016. You know, 
We deserve to have world-class technology in the Blue Mountains from here to Mount Victoria and across the rest of the electorate. It's already switched on in Richmond and Windsor and I had the privilege of doing that on Friday. You know, it will look back at the conversations that people are having about different technologies and we'll recognise very, in a very short space of time that fibre and fibre optics is as essential as water and electricity to the way we live our lives. We also, under Labor, will be growing the jobs of the future. Now, that means using existing industries where we have an expertise. We are one of only 13 countries that can make a car from scratch, and that's not a skill that we need to lose. We'll also continue to invest in world-class health and hospitals. And again, there'll be more on that later on in this forum. Of course, disability care is our, it's our implementation and our creation, and only Labor is going to have the commitment to really get that right. And of course, we'll work to build a fairer workplace, because after all, that's what Labor does. And we saw that only too clearly with the change of government and Kevin Rudd coming in and getting rid of work choices. So our future's not guaranteed as, as a lucky country, and it's Labor that's going to be able to take us there. And I look forward through the rest of this forum to sharing more of the ideas of what I'd like to see us do based on what I've heard people tell me that this country needs. Thank you, Susan.